Okay. Uh, if you guys have it, obviously everybody knows what a naked hero camera is. Uh, it's the guts of a uh, Hero 6, kind of like, um, you know, like, like this guy here. You just buy one of these, you crack it apart, you try not to destroy it, and then you, you jam it inside uh, one of these, um, these beta FEV camera cases, uh, and they have their own proprietary, well, their own designed uh, voltage regulator that goes on them. Uh, and a lot of people don't want to do this because they don't want to tear apart a, a, a perfectly functioning GoPro. Maybe it's not a perfectly functioning GoPro, but a GoPro that works. There is an easier way to do it. Sometimes it's more expensive. Sometimes it's less, just depending on how things are going. Anyways, uh, another way you can do it is you can actually just build the camera out of pieces. I need to delete this song. I don't like that one. Uh, you can build out of pieces. You can find new parts for these cameras on AliExpress. Don't worry, guys. AliExpress is actually fairly legit. I've never been screwed over on them yet. I know there are people that have. But you can literally go on here and just buy a raw mainboard for $136 or whatever. The prices fluctuate quite a bit on this stuff, so definitely shop around. And you can buy a lens module for, at least right now, just the first one I pulled up was $58. And uh, you're good to go. Those two things and then the case and probably a ND filter. That's all you need. Uh, you will need an LCD if you don't already have one or you don't know somebody you can borrow one from. You're going to need an LCD because you got to set up the, uh, the Wi-Fi and stuff on it. But uh, you can basically build a, uh, a naked GoPro out of parts. I have... There's a main board. There's a camera module. Here is our uh, our back, and I don't have the oh, here. And here is my uh, display. So we can literally build GoPro out of spare parts. Well, they're not really spares, but you get the point. So here we have our, our main board. And that's really all you need there. We have our lens module. The GoPro skinny, there you go. I couldn't put naked GoPro in the, the description because I think YouTube will flag it. Uh, so there's our lens module. Now the problem with, damn it. Uh, the problem with running uh, a naked GoPro is it, the bare lens is exposed. It has no protection over it. And the lens is, it must be made out of like the softest plastic on the face of the plant. So anytime you're using it, you need to have some sort of lens protection on it, either an ND filter or just a UV filter. Um, if I'm not running an ND filter because I'm low light, I will, I will never fly it like that. The first time I did it, my quad just tipped over and it just, it just wrecked the lens. Um, it's just another ND filter. I have a UV filter. Um, the filters for the Mavic 2 uh, Zoom work well. That's what that was from. Uh, but yeah, it's in a box somewhere else. But uh, you've got to run some sort of lens protection on it. Otherwise, it will get scratched up and it, the video will be pretty much useless out of it. But you can replace just the lens um, you can replace the entire lens module. You can replace just the lens, but um, sometimes it's just better to buy the whole shebang because it'll be it'll be lined up, it'll be clean for the most part. Uh, the, now, the, the issue I have with these is the um, uh, the back is these cameras fry all the time, and nobody really really knows why. Everybody basically blames the back because that's the most likely culprit but you gotta remember there's zero protection on these things there's no impact there's no uh, dust and water ingress protection at all you're just dealing with bare components i have heard people talk about conformal coating these but this chip right here gets so stinking hot and i think this one does too that you they also kind of caution against conformal coating there's so many contacts on here that you really wouldn't want to risk conformal coating them. The other thing is the, the the wire that comes out of this has three pins on it, one for power, one for ground, and one for pin IO, so you can activate um, recording, start and stop. 
a lot of people claim that that pin IO connection is what's frying the main boards on these uh, these naked GoPros. So I never run the pin IO, and all I do is I solder a jumper from record to um, I think it's record to ground. So once you plug it in, it'll be on, and all you gotta do is press the button, and it'll start recording. And then uh, the way I, I don't fly it on anything other than less than 4s so all you gotta do is take a 4s balance lead uh pull the center pins out so you've got full pack voltage and bob's your uncle you can power this off of any 4s lipo and so far that's been working pretty good for me um i also have you know this is a this is a dead gopro i don't know exactly what's dead on it uh i'm afraid to use this back on a dother board so this is all basically once I have another dead GoPro, I may start using these pieces to troubleshoot with, but I would not want to use any of these pieces on new components, whether they're good or not new. You know, that's that remains to be seen, but um, the assembly is pretty darn straightforward. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, the hardest part is actually just setting up the setting it all up in the, uh, the the naked case here. Lens goes in like that. Um, the Wi-Fi antenna is no longer on these, so Wi-Fi burns out uh, pretty, much, pretty much instantly once you start using it. Um, so that's why we need the screen to set up Bluetooth. It is kind of small, fiddly work, um, but it's not its not the hardest thing in the world to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is take this, is this little light pipe thing, and I it's very easy to lose. I just jam this thing in the back of the case right off the bat because it's clear, and uh, I've lost these before. Let's just get out of the way, get it done. Oh, you don't lose it. Kind of a pain he has to install. There we go. Get in there. There we go. So we got a little light pipe in the back case there. Now, remembering where all the screws go, that is always that is always a fun little project there. So we got a M4 screw, which uh, you're gonna want to like make sure that you uh, have these all kind of sorted out before you start this. Because if you use the wrong screw in the wrong spot, you're gonna end up sticking a screw through the back of the uh, through the back of the plastic, and I know I need that. Also, uh, the reliability of getting all the right screws the first time. Well, you guys know what to expect there. Those are all my M uh, eight or my eight millimeter long screws. I have a couple of. Uh, shorties here. These are, I believe these are the M4s. Yep, these are the M4s. So we're going to take our first M4 screw. We are going to zoom in a little bit more. You're going to need like a double lot Phillips head. Our first M4 screw is going to go here. And remember guys, this these are all parts that are brand new. Or I assume they're brand new. Uh, but I didn't have to tear apart a GoPro to do any of this. We're gonna take our Beck board. Oh, we're gonna take our camera module. We're gonna clip it in here. And these are these are really nice connectors. They're just kind of pushed together. Driven cables. You know, when they lock in, you feel them. They just they kind of click in place. It's the same with the Beck board. Um, this is a little bit harder to line up because you have. Uh, two different connections you have to nail down. Just want to make sure that they're lined up right before you push too hard. They should just pop into place. You can almost hear them click in. All right. And then uh, we're going to use our M5 screws, which are these, uh, these natural colored ones. One's going to go here. I'm just getting these started lightly. And the other one is going to go right here. 
And we are cutting threads as we're doing this. So don't go crazy on these things because you're just cutting threads into plastic. There we go. There's that. And we're gonna use some of our uh, eight millimeter long screws. One's gonna go on the side here by the camera module, the, the sensor module. And another one is gonna go over here on the other side of the module. And again, remember, we're just we're just going into plastic, guys. Don't go crazy with it. Take a back cover. Uh, before we do that, we're going to have to deal with this mode ground issue. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to jumper a wire. At least this is the way I do it. We're going to jumper the power wire or the, the power button to the ground button. So anytime we power apply power to this, it's going to automatically power the camera. It's not going to start recording. What's well, going to power it up? Let me uh, grow, grab a soldering medulli. It's just a real quick solder job here. Lawrence, how you doing, man? Uh, Lawrence has been bitten and bitten hard by the racing bug. Makes me happy. I wish more people would get into racing. I get a lot of people saying, oh, I don't race because uh, I'm super competitive. And if I, you know, if I, if I wasn't, if I wasn't really good, I'm going to get frustrated. I'm like, that's, that's not being competitive. That's being a poor sport is what that is. That's, that's, that's not being competitive. Just saying. I can't be the best instantly. I don't want anything to do with it. That's how most kids are nowadays. Old man Dan's complaining about kids again. All right. I'm sorry if I offended anybody in that comment, uh, but if I did, I want to take a deep look in the mirror. Just saying. We're going to tin this wire here. I know you guys can't see this. And we're just going to put a little bit of slaughter on these two pads here. need a real short jumper wire nothing nothing too crazy the, the gauge of the wire really doesn't matter probably the thinner the better just something you can whatever fits in there just fine or will be just fine Guys, you're done soldering. Cover that tip with solder. Shut the iron off. Don't clean it. Encapsulates the tip, covers it in solder, so oxygen can't get to it and won't oxidize. Make your tip last forever. All right, and again, all that's doing is it's making the camera automatically power up when we apply power to that plug there. And now we just got to close her up. All right, guys, we're getting close to time to spin the wheel for the monthly giveaway. It's 
It's always it's always a little concerning when you have leftover hardware. I have one screw left over. I have no idea where it goes. There we go. We are basically, basically done. Basically done with the assembly. We're gonna weasel a little SD card to card I'm doing there. All right. Now, the the last part we have to do is actually configure this thing. Uh, and the way I do it is I just have an old. Uh, I bought a screen from a GoPro 6 because these are really hard to salvage. Um, and there's this, you know, it's just a 3D printed case. And all it does is just kind of clips in place and uh, allows you to configure the camera there. Um, and you only need this for the first time. After this, you can do it through, I think, GoPro Labs or there's another app that I use called BLE Remote. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and power this guy up. Again, I don't use that that pin IO wire. I've heard too many people speculate that that is the cause of frying these things. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. Sometimes it'd be pretty hard to get the screen to line up right. Let me grab the other screen I got. Another bag of GoPro. Now let's see. Plug the screen in. This can be fairly tedious to do. There we go. And it's plugged in there. And there we go. So now we have a functioning GoPro. Uh, do not do any firmware updates if it asks. Ah, uh, crap. Well, this is what you need here. Is you need to know the uh, the GoPro number and the uh, the pin code for it. How do I adjust? The language. Language. Here we go. Thank you, Google Translate. There we go. Look at that. Google Translate to the rescue. Uh, but from here, you're going to connect it to your go, your camera, yeah, God, to your phone, just like you would uh, any other GoPro, and that's all you got to do. And you're good to go. So then, when it comes time to actually record, it's literally plug your lipo in, wait for the green light to flash, and then you can see right here we have a record button. You hit record, green light comes on and you are good to go. That's it. That's how you make a naked GoPro.